Here's the Windsor real estate market update for uh, the current week ending uh, June 17th. Um, we will see that there's some new dynamics going on in the city of Windsor real estate market. Let me get my pointer out here to kind of show you this. So you'll notice that we have sold a $190,000 house, a $206,000 house, a $260,000 house, a $311,000 house, $315,000. 330, 341, 350, 352, 355, 380. What the good news about this is, is that those folks who have less than 380 or less than $400,000 to spend can buy a house now in the city of Windsor because we've sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 houses last week under $400,000. So if you have a budget of less than $400,000, you should be looking for a house in the city of Windsor because for the first time in three and a half years, we have houses for you to be able to buy. That's the massive news. We have inventory now. We've never had inventory before. We now have inventory. So for those folks looking to buy a house to be able to start building equity, it is now high time to be out there buying a house. We have affordable houses for you. As a matter of fact, if we look at the market and we put our little threshold here, let's say 610, we'll just cut it off there. Over 75% of our market, the 67 houses we sold for the week, over 75% from here, 75% of our houses and we're under $600,000 or $610,000, keep it simple. And 25% of our market was above $600,000 or $610,000, keep it simple. And we only sold one house at a million last week. So what I'm trying to point out is that we have inventory, we have selection. We've never had inventory and selection in these lower price points in the city of Windsor. If you are looking at the concepts of, gee, you know, my house that I bought five, four or five years ago, excuse me, four or five years ago, that is now worth $700,000, that I paid $300,000 for, could I go out and pay it off, sell it, and buy a $400,000 house and live house-free, mortgage-free? The answer is absolutely yes. You just have to be willing to go and buy a $400,000 house. And these houses are nice. Lloyd George, Dougal, College, Castleton, Wales, Marin Tet, Lillian, that house on Lillian, St. Denis, St. Denis Street. Wait a second, that's Tecumseh. And look, that house in Tecumseh actually sold at its asking price. What the heck, people? There's no better way to be able to describe to you right now that it's so important to be out. If you're thinking about buying a house, now's the time to be out there doing it. We've never had it this good for buyers in the city of Windsor. You're paying less for a house. You're not having multiple bids where you're overpaying for a house. Instead, the government has you paying a little bit over for interest on the house, for borrowing their money is going to cost you a little bit more. But the cost of the house has come down. And so over time, the cost of the house that's come down is actually the same thing as what we would have been doing in January or back last year when we were in multiple bids and you were paying $300,000 over for a house in the city of Windsor. So it's time. It's time to be out there looking for houses. It's time to be out there talking to people. Hey, you know, I want to go buy a house. Now let's look at the internal data for the city of Windsor for the week. So as you know, we sold 67 houses for the week, which is right on par with exactly what we did last week, 68 houses last week. Our We had nine houses for the first time ever. When I call that ever, not for the first time ever, but for the first time in three and a half years. We had nine houses sold at or under their asking price. Nine of the 68. Which means that there were 13.4% of houses that sold at their asking price or under their asking price. This number we're going to be watching going forward because we think that this number will be going up. 
but this is a massive number already as in itself. That's better than what it's ever historically been in the city of Windsor in the last three and a half years. Then if we look at volume, we had an asking price volume of the 70 of the of the 67 houses that sold of 30 million 786. We sold them for 36 million 921. So there was $36,921,000 worth of houses that have sold in the last week in Windsor. Now, when everybody says, oh, the Windsor market's getting crushed, is that crushing it? No, that's exactly the same number as what was last week. It was $38 million last week. There's nothing getting crushed from a price and point perspective in the city of Windsor. It's just that we have a massive number of inventory of affordable houses for the first time in a very, very long time. It's just the market. Now, let's look a little bit further. So the difference between 36 million and 30 million is 6,135,000 divided by 67 houses. That means the average overbid, the average overbid for a house in the city of Windsor is 91,572 now, which is only 20%, which is down from 27% last week. So we have great selection, and the prices are coming down, and the average overbid is coming down, and there were nine houses that you might get lucky enough to be able to buy at their asking price, or less. It is a phenomenal time. These numbers, these data points are looking great for buyers, and they don't look well at all for sellers. Because sellers have to price their house correctly, and you're also starting to see far more houses that are being advertised at seller's expectation, priced at seller's expectation. It's taking the guesswork out. You don't have to sit there and say, gee, I wonder how much I'm going to have to pay over a bid on this house. Well, no. If it's priced at what the seller's expectation is, then you have to sit there and say, is the house worth what the seller's expectation is? Which is what you've always had to do all along. Your realtor always had to tell you all along that, hey, look, I don't want you bidding $700,000 for this $200,000 house because it's only worth $340,000. But that's what our realtor is supposed to be doing for you. If they weren't doing that back in the day, back when COVID was going on and we were in all those multiple bids, I'm sorry about your luck. Um, you should have hired a different realtor. Or maybe you overruled that realtor, I'm not sure. Um, but it is your house, not the realtor's house. So you might have overruled that realtor and paid $700,000 for a $350,000 house. I'm not sure. But the bank would have also had to have lent you the money to be able to do that as well, too. So some of the skin in the game is on them. So let's just quickly look at a different week. And when we talk about how important it is, we can see that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We had 14 houses this week that sold under 400,000. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 houses this week, this last week that sold under 400,000. If you don't have very much money to spend, now is the time to be out there looking in the city of Windsor because your chances of being able to buy a house are higher than what they've ever historically been. This is exciting times. Who cares what the interest rate is? Interest rates back in the day, I sat with a young lady today, her interest rate when she bought her house was 21%. 21%. Yes, we're at 6%, but that's what we should have been at all along, to be honest with you. Um, the free money is now out of our economy. It's gone. The free money, all of the, the coke, basically, that the central banks have pumped into the market since 2008's financial crisis is now coming out. And that's all that's going on here. So just wanted to share this video with you. It is massive news in the city of Windsor. If you're here getting this email, that means that you're on my list of somebody who's thinking about buying a house in the city of Windsor. We need to get you out there look, looking. All you have to do is contact me. Send me a text. Send me an email. Send me a smoke signal. Send me a carrier pigeon. I don't care what you do. 
it's a high time, great time to be buying a house in the city of Windsor. We have selection for you. We have pricing points that have come down. We should be celebrating this stuff and out there looking at houses. I have several clients that I'm helping right now. I need more clients to be helping because I can help all of you. It's the time. So let's get out there looking. Give me a jingle. Send me a spoke signal. Send me a carrier pigeon. 519-995-6145. 519-995-6145. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.